deafness. People think that those who are deaf are caused by God. They never knew that anybody can become deaf at any time. There are two types of deafness. One, people who are born deaf, that is congenital deafness. Two, people who acquired deafness later in life. Those who are born deaf don't have language, but people who acquire deafness later in life have some language. Everybody is a potential handicap, but the level of occurrence can be caught if people are made to know about the causes of deafness. Causes of hearing loss varies in children and uh, adults. Poor management of illness, misuse of drugs during pregnancy, exposure to loud noise like use of earphone, removing wax from the air with sharp object slapping a child. Parents pass deafness to their children. That is hereditary deafness. Drinking of beer or alcohol and a cigarette can cause deafness. Problem facing a deaf person are numerous. From lack of acceptance in the family and society. Marriage. Can you marry a deaf person? Job placement. Can you employ a deaf person? Education and discrimination. What if one of your children is deaf? The hearing counterpart should develop a positive attitude towards the deaf, knowing that deafness does not make them less human. We should be ready to accept them, to provide for them, Defend them. Acceptance is the key word.
Good of you. Good. Good. We in this school don't only recognize excellence. We reward excellence. For this reason, she will be greatly rewarded. We have a gift for her. <laughs> Good. Oh! Lovely, lovely. Good. Thank you, thank you all, thank you, thank you. My life began as a golden flower, full of beauty yet unseen. It slowly unfolded like a rising sun, and the bright and bright and lovely day I had. I had dreams, I had aspirations. Shadi, you are still awake. You're supposed to have slept by now. Look at the time. Mm, I'm almost strong. I'll soon join you. As a child, I was able to grow up and become a shining star. But alas, my maker never meant me for greatness. I had my first taste of the lives of fair treatment when I was in my I had hardly settled down for lessons at school. That day, when some relatives came for me, Good morning, puppies. Good morning, Good morning. 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 Good Not until I got home. I found my mother lying on the floor, lifeless.
my words were further compounded. When my father brought up a pregnant woman, whom he introduced as his wife and mother, just for ten months after my mother's death, this, this, your house. Shadi, Shadi. Uh, this is your This is your mommy, my new wife. Hmm? Let's go inside. Come and see the inside. <laughs> husband day before yesterday. Okay. Oh, where's our baby? Oh, Shani has taken her upstairs to sleep. She told me from the beginning. I actually for me blessed after she had her son. And her friends added to my ministry in no small measure. Dead mother, through that portrait. What? You know, I've been warning you. You are living in danger. So, you have to act fast. Sure. 
was a word that they called and I did not answer. And I must have gone to the witch's corner for a meeting. that she's partially deaf. The left ear seems to be totally deaf, while the right ear still functions, when the sound is very loud. Only when the sound is very loud? Yes. Shadi? Sir? Come. She read your lips, sir. She could tell that you called her name, but she didn't hear anything. Well, uh, we have to give a note to the parent. Mm? Mm -hmm. Okay. Shadi, let her know that I'm talking to her. We will give you a note to your parent. Okay? I was partially dead. Good. And my parents did not know. How can anyone look at my case and still claim that God is merciful? I was giving a letter for my parents. My father, my father comes home late, so, so I gave the headmaster's letter to my hotel mother. Good afternoon, ma. My headmaster said I should give you. can be completely answered. Mm. Prophet sir, yes. this is the balance. Good. I hope it is complete. Mm. <laughs> the girl is now well to go. Uh, mm. Sir, when can we take her back? Tomorrow! You can't go with her now. Come for her tomorrow. I still have one more prayer to do. So that she can be totally free. But you can see that she's now okay. She's now okay. Sir. You can go. 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 <laughs> hmm. 
the torture, torture continued until my little body could bear no more. What? I went back to school after a gruesome week with the prophet. The marks of affliction were evident all over me. You mean the father did this to her? This part is Oh, Shadi. Shadi. Oh, God. Shadi. Oh, what did she do to deserve this? How can the man be this wicked? Please, sir, do anything you can do to get me out of the house, please. thing is this. Shadi, to your dad, eh? No, Shadi. You are not a sorry case. God! God does not love me! No, I don't even want to hear it. God does not love me. Look, look at me. I cannot hear. I only hear with the hearing aid. I'm a product with defect in God's hands. People like me, the lame, the blind, the dumb, the imbeciles are all products with defects in God's hands. And you know that the manufacturer attaches little or no value at all to products with defects. I'm valueless in God's hands. That's why he abandoned me right from when I was a child. No, child. What he went through was enough to claim your life. But God preserved you. And I know he did it for a purpose. He's mindful of you. The psalmist attests to that. He says, What is man that thou art mindful of him? And the son of man that thou wastest him? <laughs> Shade, please. 
stop engaging in prostitution. It saddens your maker. First Corinthians 6 verse 18 says, Flee fornication. Every sin that a man doeth is without the body. But he that committed fornication sinned against his own body. <laughs> Oh my god. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Madam. <laughs> Even God cannot blame me for this. His negligence made me a prostitute. The very day the headmaster confronted my father, he decided he had had more than enough of me. He took me to my uncle's place. That's my mother's younger brother. My uncle reluctantly took me in. He didn't even want to. But at the end of the day, he took me. Ah, that place was hell. Why must you do me like that? 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 fled that hell called the home. I was roaming in the street in the middle of the night when a drunk man offered me shelter in his one bedroom apartment. I even thought it was God sent. So I decided to accept the offer. Little did I even know that it was it was worse. man will lock me up day and night. He comes back late every night. This man who rapes me. This man rapes me every night. men into the house to sleep with me. and he collected money in my presence. It was at that point that I decided that perhaps God wanted me to use my body for survival all along. And ever since then, I've been involved in this trade. Listen, Shadi. I have to go now. What are you doing all this? The very first time you picked me up at the brothel, you promised to pay thrice of my fees. 
when I first saw you, I thought maybe you were an old lesbian or a widow seeking for fun. This is the fourth time that you are bringing me into your house to preach to me. You are nice. You are very nice indeed. The mother I never had. But there is nothing of value that God can get in my life anymore. I'm so far gone. <laughs> to me, I've always cut across too many issues. First, that I was created with glory. Second, that God loves me. <laughs> oh. Now, I have three questions for you. First, If God loves me, why is it that I went through so much suffering and pain in my life? Second, how has my sufferings and pains reflected God's love for my life? And thirdly, what form of greatness could possibly Comfort from a deaf person like me. In answer to your first question, Shadi, Moses and Jesus, among others, were destined for glory. But Satan tried all his possible best to cut their life short from birth. The greater your glory, the higher your challenges. Your tough experiences are indications of a very bright destiny. In answer to your second question, God's love has always been evident even in your trials, but Satan hindered you from noticing it. Have you ever think of how you managed to survive against all odds? That was God. Keeping watch over you, just 
as he did for Moses and Jesus during their periods of trials. In Psalms 27 verse 8, the Bible says, When my father and my mother forsake me, then the Lord will take me up. That, my dear, was your experience. The summary of your entire life. Corinthians chapter 1 verse 27 says but God hath chosen the foolish things of this world to confound the wise but God hath chosen the weak things of this world to confound things which are mighty Moses was God's mouthpiece even as his Tamara Balaam's horse was used by God, even as an animal. There are great deeds that God can run through you. Ah, okay, Ma. Thank you. I've heard all you have said. I'll go and ponder on it. Now is the day of salvation. You have delayed your decisions for too long. God wants you to leave the shameful trade of prostitution right away. No, ma. I can't possibly stop what I'm doing now. How do you expect me to fund for myself? In Matthew chapter 11 verse 28, Jesus says, Come unto me only that labor and are heavy lady, and I will give you rest. Jesus has provided a way out, Shadi. But you have rejected it. I don't need Jesus. <laughs> Especially not now that I can phone for myself. Shabby, you need Jesus more than you think. Material provision is not the primary reason for accepting the Lordship of Jesus. Have you ever thought of what awaits you after this life? Is it life eternal or everlasting damnation? anything. Uh -uh, I'll be there. <laughs> I'll join you right away. No, seriously. I'll be there in a jiffy. All right. Thank you. Bye. I have to go now, Ma. I'll see you later. Thank you. Give me an heart attack. Uh-uh. Yes, I, I mean... Wale... You men are so full of exaggeration, Joe. What is it they came to do? Uh, well, um, it's on the issue we have been discussing for some weeks now. Hola, Wale... Don't tell me you're still on this marriage proposal thing. I've told you, we can only be friends. I'm not ready for marriage. I mean, 
look at me. Shade, Shade, why, why don't you consider me? How else do you want me to prove my love to you? I'm aware of your challenges and your past. I know you can only hear by use of a hearing device. I know you were into prostitution as a result of poverty and lack. In fact, I met you in the trade. And I know you have nobody to care for you. And that is why I'm trying as much as I can to, to, to help you. I love you and I really want to marry you. This man wants to marry me despite his knowledge of my dirty life. Ah, he might later hate me for the same reason. But would, would Jesus be willing to accept me with this sordid life? Isn't it wise to marry Olawale than go to Jesus whom I have no confidence that I will be accepted? Yes? Yes. Huh? Oh my god. Oh my god. Shall we? She must not be able to escape. Oh no, from your hand in the name of Jesus. Leave my mouth. Father, in the name of Jesus. Come and do it now. Now is the time. Now is the time. Now, now. You are, you are a very wicked woman. Eh? Oh. All you could say is welcome, sir. Eh? You cannot even ask me how my day was or why I have decided or rather why I'm calling in this late. I'm sorry, sir. It's because I didn't want to offend you. Eh? So you have classified me as, as a wild animal. Eh? Or or as a heartless wild beast simply because I corrected you yesterday. No, sir. Yeah. Well, what else can one expect from a worthless deaf girl like you? Yes? How can you look at me like that? No. I am not a worthless girl. Are you not a worthless girl? Are you not a worthless girl? I am not a worthless girl. How dare you look at me like that? Yeah? You worthless prostitute! Is it too much if I hop? If I hop, hop to train you? Eh? You are a rejected child with nobody to train you from, from childhood. And I decided to want to train you. Destitute, prostitute, death. Nonsense, useless, deaf girl. This man maltreats you this much, and you've kept silent all this while, Shade. What can I say? You've warned me severally. I didn't listen. I'm merely reaping the reward of my disobedience. Yet, Jesus loves you, Shade. You've suffered enough. 
give Jesus a chance so as to give you true peace and joy. Jeremiah 17 5 says, Curses are those who put their trust in mere humans, who rely on human strength and turn their hearts away from the Lord. It is true you honestly desire help, but your expectation is towards men. Accept the Lord Jesus as your Lord and Savior, and He will give you rest. Hmm. Madam, even if I want to accept Jesus Christ, there's a major factor that, that makes it impossible. Hey, what can that be? Olawale. Uh, Olawale can't stand anything spiritual. Shade, don't be surprised to find the house in this state. I have moved all my belongings out of the house. Initially, when I met you, I thought I loved you. But after you moved into my house, I realized God never meant us to be together. Each time I see you, I remember you are deaf. Each time you leave the house, I remember you were once a prostitute. And I can't help suspecting that you might still be engaged in prostitution in secret. Now I have vacated the house for you and I have traveled abroad with my real heart drop. I'm happy we never truly married and there is no way we can even determine whether the child in your womb is truly mine. I pray that God will always help you. Goodbye. Yes, sincerely. to teach me how to bring up my daughter. If my daughter has offended, I have every right as the father of that girl to deal with her with so ever way I desire. What I'm saying is this. Discipline must have a human face. I mean, you don't kill a mosquito with a sledgehammer for goodness sake. Mm. To me, this is nothing but child abuse. <laughs> child abuse? I guess you have never come across the proverb that says, Spear the rod and spoil the child. If I spear the rod, I'm going to spoil that girl. That shouldn't make it or destroy the child. No. Discipline should be corrective, not destructive. That was rather too hard on that little child. You were rather too hard on her. <laughs> Was too bad. Mr. Headmaster, I do not blame you. And I do not blame your wife, too. The two of you are talking the way you're talking because you have never been parents in your life. What did you just say? Yes! You do not have your own child because you are married! You don't know what it takes to be a parent! Good day. Don't mind it, just take it easy. Hmm?
Yes. Um, we actually came to see if you can allow us to keep uh, Shadena at home. Mm, well, <clears throat> anyway, thank you. That's a good gesture. Um, unfortunately, I have taken a better decision. Um, my daughter now lives with her uncle. She's now with her uncle. Sir, can we get the description to the place, sir? Yes, uh, how to get to the place. And then your consent, please. Okay, consent. No need of consent. You can go and see her. Go and see her there. Um, when you get to uh, Udinju, take a vehicle going to Foko. Hey, get to Foko. find you. We wanted to adopt you since we have no child of our own. But on our way coming, the unexpected happened. There was an auto crash.
husband died, but I survived. Later, I discovered I was pregnant. My husband died trying to show you how much God loves and values you. Shade, you need to give your life to Jesus now. Now is the day of salvation. The day I met you, the emotions came flooding back. And I determined my husband's death must not be in vain. I determined I must finish the work he started. Shadi, you have to decide for Jesus now. You have to say yes to Jesus now before it is too late. He's calling you now. Yield to his call. Now is the day of salvation. Tomorrow may be too late. patiently for you to turn to him. He's ready for you now. <laughs> Dead sea. Stinking. Lady like me. Though your sins be red like scarlet, they shall be white as wool. Though they be red like crimson, they shall be as wool. Jesus is calling you. He has been waiting patiently for you to talk to him. Now is the day of salvation. Tomorrow may be too late. I'm ready. I'm ready. 
Challenge person that is out there that has lost hope. Ah, Lord God of heaven, come and save their souls. Come and save their souls in the name of Jesus. Lord God, you will save their souls in the name of Jesus. Bring people to your kingdom. Lord God of heaven, I pray to God that the Holy Spirit will go and begin to touch their lives. The Holy Spirit will go and begin to touch their lives in the name of Jesus. Good evening. Good evening. How are you? Fine. Thank you. Okay. We are going to continue from where we stopped last time. We were learning some words. Number one. A verb is an action word. Example, go, come. come. Can you give me another example of action word? Same game. Same game. Good. Another one. Clapping. No. Clapping. Clapping. You can also sign another action word as go in. That means a continuous things go in go in you remember i told you if you add this it means i n g Some cups are made with hands, while others are not. 
yet, yet, yet they all are admired for their beauty and use. What you call a defect is your creator's deliberate design. Deliberate design. Deliberate design. With this obvious disability. Look at this. Look at this. My leg is as broken as this one. First Corinthians chapter 1. From verse 26 to verse 29. For ye have seen your calling, brethren. How that not many wise men after the flesh, not many mighty, 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 not many noble men are called. But God had chosen the foolish things of the world to confound the wise, and God had chosen the weak things of the world to confound that which is mighty, and the base things. And those and things those which are despised had he chosen. Yeah, 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 yeah. And those and things and which and are not. To confirm the things that are. That no flesh should glory in his presence. Daughter, give the violin to me. Here, have it back. is the next thing now? Um, I've actually been thinking about what about what I should do, you know, since I graduated from school. I even wanted to work and get paid. But I don't feel God is leading me to pursue that course. I feel God wants me to start an NGO that will cater for the needs of the physically challenged. Who would source for donations from well-meaning individuals and organizations. That way, I'll make sure that no physically challenged person I come across will get lost the way I did. Shadi, may the Lord bless you. In fact, I'll continue to pray for you and even help in sourcing for those. Ah, thank you very much. God bless you. God bless you. Thank you so much. I really want to appreciate you for everything. It's good, it's good. Thank you so much. We got together, it's good. My people, God has not created us to be inferior in life. In fact, God sent Jesus Christ to people like us. The blind will see in heaven the lame will walk there I pray we will not miss heaven <coughs> let us pray in Jesus name into my heart, into my heart, call me to my heart, Lord Jesus, call me today, call me to stay.
judge God by the wicked attitudes of men. I didn't know God had a better plan for me. My condition then is what many physically challenged people go through now. That is what motivates me. That is what will continue to motivate me.
Well, I'm actually excited to hear that. I'm excited to know that a lot of organizations and NGOs are now springing up to help physically challenged. Well, they're all welcome, provided that their concern is genuine and guided by honesty. That's it. Well, I feel glad. Of course, um, I dedicate all their words, all of them, to God Almighty. Because without God, God is just the holy hope. He's the one that gave me hope. He's the one that, that, that was there for me when I needed him the most. So I dedicate it to the Almighty God. I'm glad, I'm very humbled, I'm privileged, and I'm grateful to God for all these awards. Huh. Shadi. Who could have thought anything good can come out of her life? Hmm? Now I understand that only God Almighty can determine a man's future. Look at me. See what I have been reduced to. Oh. I regret everything I did against her. I wonder if she will ever be able to forgive me. How will I even get closer enough to her to ask her for forgiveness? She's a big person in the society now. And she's even heading to become a minister in this government. Hi. Good afternoon, ma. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. I'd like to see my dad. Good afternoon, sir. Good afternoon, sir. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. Yeah. Please, I'd like to see my dad. Okay, sir. From where? Uh, from around. Just tell her from around. Please have your seat. Thank you. can I do for you? Ah, Shadi. Can't you recognize me? It's me, Olawale. Oh, sorry. It's me. Shadi, it's me, Olawale. Mr. Man, as you can see, this organization is for the physically challenged. 
and we hardly receive visitors that are whole like you especially people like you that are too perfect to live with people like us Charlie, please forgive me I've only come to you, please forgive me. Hey, 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 Don't prostrate for me, please. Don't pros prostrate. Please just stand up. <laughs> it's God that you should go and settle it with. Don't ask me for forgiveness. Go and ask God. Shade, please forgive me. See, my trip to the United States yielded me nothing. In fact, it's like God used the same lady I eloped with to punish me. Eh, yeah. She never fulfilled any of her promises, especially to get me the green card. Oh. She even brings in men into the house. And I dare not complain, simply because I don't have a resident permit. An argument broke out between me and one of the men, and the man dealt with me, gave me two dirty slaps. Eh? Oh. But I, I can't retaliate. But do you know that the lady still went ahead and brought in the police? Oh. And they apprehended me and bounded me en route Nigeria that same night without anything on me. Shadi, please. I've come to plead. I believe I've suffered for the sin I committed against you. Please, Shadi. Please forgive me. Please. You. 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 The mighty man that made life miserable for me because I'm a woman and I'm physically challenged. <laughs> you now became a slave to a woman because of resident permit. Shadi, uh Shadi, -uh. you can say all you want to say. I deserve it, but please forgive me. Please, Shadi, forgive me. Please, please. I've heard all you said. Thank you very much. As you can see, I'm very busy. You may now leave. Uh, Shade, please. Don't do this. I said get out of my office! Now! Get out! Get out! Shade, I need to ask one question. Please, uh, how is our child? Child, Mr. Man, I can remember vividly that when you left me, you left me with a pregnancy, not a child. And if you can see very well, I'm not pregnant anymore. So please, get out. Get out! the forgiveness of sins that you gave us for free comes at a great price. I was once a rejected and hopeless prostitute, yet you forgave me and accepted me. Now you use me for your glory. I never realized the weight of the grace I have received till now. Now, another man asks me for forgiveness and it's so hard for me to give. I 
actually came for um, a particular issue that has been on my mind for for a while now. And um, I thank God for what God is using you to do and what God is doing through you really. I am it, it's awesome. You know. Uh, but there's one other thing that I keep wondering about. I actually discussed with Dr. Mrs. when I said, okay, I should come and see you myself. Um, I, I wondered if um, you are not interested in the miracle of God. Well, what do I mean by that? You see, I believe that God can perfect all that concerns you. I believe that Jehovah God, my God that I serve, can break every yoke concerning your hearing challenge. You see, in my church, we have these prayer warriors. We gather together, and there is no challenge that comes to them that the fire of God does not break down. All you need to do is to come. I sent there was a time we gathered together waiting for you, but you didn't turn up. Don't you do want the miracle of God? Well, thank you very much, sir. I I really appreciate you. Thanks for the concern. Thank God. I really, really appreciate you, sir. But I don't need the miracle. Yes. I don't need it. Sir, despite my challenge, God is still using me. You can see, sir. Sir, if you pray for me, I believe, I totally believe that there is nothing God cannot do. I know that he's a prayer answering God. I know he's a miracle worker. I believe in miracle. I know that he can do it all. But sir, what if you pray for me and I become whole? Would I still be able to minister to the physically challenged? You know now, I can minister to them because I'm part of them. We've been through the same experiences in life. They know that I, that I feel their pain. <sighs> Sir, I don't want to be made whole. I am perfect this way. I love, I love myself this way. And I have passion for the physically challenged. And I know that that is why God has created me, sir. So for the miracle, I still don't need it, sir. If that is your conviction, well, I respect that. I respect that. Uh, <clears throat> but there's something else. Really? Um, I also mentioned that uh, uh, to Dr. Mrs. I'm not so sure if she discussed it with you. You, you see, our ministry is such that we are involved in um, um, quite a number of things, outreaches, uh, crusades, deliverances, and um, all these require money. And um, it, it is my belief, it is my belief, my daughter, that uh, as you sow a mighty seed into the work of the Lord, my belief is that God will do that which concerns you. As you decree, it shall be established unto you. But you need to sow this seed. And I, I, I believe that God will touch you to 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 do that into the work of the master. I actually, you know, I I I I I, I said I discussed this with Doctor Mrs. And I, I I'm not so sure if if she she she, she passed on my message. <laughs> well. <clears throat> Is that why you came, sir? Um, um. <clears throat> sir, right from the time Dr. Mrs. gave me the request, I've written the check I gave her a long time ago. I'm sure it's been a while since you saw Dr. Mrs. I've given Dr. Adeyemi. Uh, you mean you have uh, uh, given a check to Dr. Don't tell me that's why you came, sir. Because I've given us a very long time ago. Huh. 
Yeah, 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 yeah. You have given a check to Dr. <laughs> Therefore, I see. The power of God come upon you right now. May the unction that is upon my life, by the unction of the prophet upon my life, I decree concerning you that that which concerns you is settled in the name of Jesus. God of miracle, open heaven right now. Begin to pray in open heaven. But look up on Saturday, God. Hey, hear the word of the Lord. That which you decree is decreed. That which you lose is lose. What do the bond is bound? Hey, you create this and it is not up. In the name of Jesus, I surround you with the power of God. My God, my Father, I pray to you this hour. Hear the prayer of your daughter in the name of Jesus. Sorry, I, I can't give you a more comfortable chair. Please. Hello, Ali. Don't be surprised to see me. I pray that. God Almighty would visit you and make fortune smile on you again. It's true that you hurt me. You hurt me very, very bad. Jesus Christ teaches us to forgive people that offend us if we expect him to forgive us our transgressions. I've come here today to tell you one thing. Forgiven you from the bottom of my heart. I've forgiven you. But Olawale, continue. You need Jesus. You need Jesus, Olawale. When there was no more hope for me. 
he intervened and he brought back joy and hope into my life. Olawale, he can do the same for you too. <laughs> it's only Jesus that can give you a better life. <laughs> he gave me hope. He gave me a future. He intervened and gave me a brand new life. Olawale, he can do that for you too. He can give you a brand new life. Look, if you accept Jesus Christ into your life, He will give you peace of mind here on earth and you will enjoy eternal life in heaven. Shanti. Thank you very much for forgiving me. Even if my situation doesn't improve, you have eliminated the guilt that has almost killed me. And about giving my life to Jesus, I think it is too late. I've been hearing the gospel since I was young. My parents were, were born again Christians and they kept telling me about the right path. But no, the cares and pleasures of this world enticed me more. Shadi, you are not the only lady whose life I have adversely affected. I have been involved in rituals and sacrifices to idols. My life is bad beyond description. No matter how big, how grave, how enormous your sin is, no matter how rotten thinking your life was in the past. Look, Jesus is ready to accept you. All he needs is your readiness and willingness. Olawale, the Bible says that if we confess our sins and forsake them, he is faithful and just to forgive us and cleanse us from all our righteousness. <laughs> the Bible further says that if a man is in Christ, he is a new creature. All things have passed away. All things become new. Olawale. If, if Jesus is willing to accept me, I'm ready to become his. But I have one important question to ask. Can we come back together as husband and wife? Olawale, we were never married. You and I were just living in sin and ignorance. And of course, we can't go back to that old sinful life. However, there is one major factor that connects us together. Here. This is an Oluwa The result of the pregnancy I got by you. Ah. And ah. this is your father. Ah. On our legend. Oh. 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 
I've not even given my life to Jesus. And I'm already sensing joy. What must I really do to accept Jesus? Thank God. Olawale is very, very simple. All you need to do is to acknowledge in your heart that you are a sinner. Once you do that, you confess all of your sins and you forsake your evil ways. Finally, you invite Jesus into your heart and ask him to take total control of you. Then you begin to enjoy peace and happiness. If that is all, I'm ready to accept Jesus. Lord Jesus. Lord Jesus. I come to you today. I come to you today. I ask that you forgive all my sins. I mean, mommy. Mommy assured us that we will find them. She went to the place we used to stay last week. She went late. And though she was told that he has moved, but she was given the description to his new house. And we even know the new wife is really, really sick now. That's why he couldn't make it for your wedding. Mm. But as soon as the, this wedding is over, he promised to come and see mommy. And Shadi, come on, smile. Today is all about you. Huh? Come on, smile. Mm, that's my sis. <laughs> And our dear brother, brother Sayalu Victor Badmos. Uh, I want to call them out to declare them to the whole congregation. Let's clap for Jesus. <laughs> for today, brother and sister, Victor Butmas!
Everybody make una join me, yo. As soon as be a jack at the roro, the rule a lot to do a fee for me. Oh, you lot to a ho. Go go in the yard, wow, wow. Oh, call it gagara, oh, la riri. The venit and it go le pagoni. This is you, yo. Oh, come on, show. Watch your volato. Watch your bow to. Olu wabtia. Watch your bow to. Watch your volato. Olu wabtia. Watch your volato. Lola mi posi. Watch your bow to. Lola mi posi. Oh, posi. Watch your volato. Watch your bow to. Olu wabtia. Mommy, I read my results. Where's my gift? Your gifts? I will fulfill my promise. And your daddy also has promised to give you a big gift. Mm, thank you. Mm, that's my daughter. Hey, hey, mommy, I want to ask a question. Okay, okay. Relax. Relax. Mommy, what's your name? Oye Konsola. Oye You know Oye is honey. And Ola? It's wet. So wet had it with honey. That makes that wet fine. Hey, hey, what of Ola Shade? Ola Shade. You know, as I've said, Ola is wet. Then Ade Kran. It means you are from a royal family. So you are a princess. I'm a princess. Yes. Everybody make una join me yo. As soon as be a jack at the roro, the rule a lot to do a fee for me. Oh you lot to a ho ho. Go go in the yard, wow wow. Oh call it gagara, oh la riri. The very tiny go le pagoni. This is you yo. Oh come and show. Watch your volato, watch your bow to, olu abtia. Watch your bow to, watch your volato, olu abtia. Watch your bow to, lola mi posi. Watch your bow to, lola mi posi. Oh posi. Watch your bow to, watch your bow to, olu abtia. Aha. Lick back on me. I just struggle carry you go road. Then I could see how to fetch water without the road. No be me, na G O D, what they make me demo. Now I'm chilling in my E O D, and them is gon' jail. Oh, you a cause you know I love me. Go go around and tell the story. She be one to call it bagoni, or call it la. Go go real sorry. Oh, you a cause you know I love me. Bubu Oroya to the story Shebi Monique Olekwagoni Okwale la Bubu Rosori 